and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing my mid-year goal check-in. So every January I start out the new year with making resolutions, goals, whatever you'd like to call them, and I split them up into three categories. So I have reading goals, writing goals, and life goals. I really try my best to do these and stick to them because there's just something so satisfying about checking that box, man. I live off that thrill. Now I know a lot of authors on AuthorTube do the whole quarterly goals things. I've never actually tried that. That is something that I would be willing to like give a shot to next year. But the way I do things is I just have overall year goals and then I split those up into monthly goals and then weekly goals and then daily tasks. And I do all this in my bullet journal. This is my goals page. It's nothing too fancy, but I like it plain and simple so I can keep it all under control. I had five reading goals, four writing goals, and three lifestyle goals. I'll go ahead and start with like the writing portion because I feel like that's what most people are here for. So number one, my first writing goal was to finish When the Sea Came For Us, my YA dark fantasy novel. And I have successfully finished that. It feels so good. I technically finished it in like February even though I had a couple like straggling readers finishing up in like April, whatever. It was mainly done in February. I just did a couple tweaks later, a couple months later. You know how these things are. My next writing goal was that I wanted to query in the first quarter of the year. I uh, hmm, may or may not have done that. <laughs> my next writing goal was that I wanted to draft The Glass Witch, which is my current middle grade project I'm working on. And I can check that one off too because I have successfully completed the first draft. I'm working on the second. It's going good, we're trucking along, things are happening. And my last writing goal was that I wanted to get a second critique partner. I actually already did that. I did that in like December of last year-ish. So I had four writing goals and I completed all four writing goals and I'm really proud of myself for it. I'm feeling good. Now since I went ahead and finished all of my writing goals for the entire year in April, I do feel like I needed to add a few more. So for the rest of the year, I have decided to add that I want to finish my second draft of my middle grade novel by September 4th. This hopefully will give me enough time to complete that second draft of my middle grade novel that is a complete rewrite. So hopefully I have enough time. It also is right before me and my family leave for vacation. We're going to Disney World and Harry Potter Land. And I'm going to Booknet Fe Book Fest. <laughs> so if you're going to Booknet Fest, let me know down below and maybe we could like meet up, hang out, chill, talk about books, you know? And third of all, getting it done by that date may give me enough time to like send it to my critique partners and maybe do like a nice round of revision. Um, before the pitch wars entry day. I might do pitch wars with this middle grade. I don't know. It's not official. I'm not making it official. Like if I get done in time, it would be fun. Who knows? <laughs> now moving into the reading goals. This is where I have a few more, more unchecked boxes than I'd like, but we're still working. We're still working. The year's only half done. But the first one is the only one I have completed on this list. And that is that I want to use my physical library more. And I can happily say I have done this. I use the library a lot the past couple years because I really got into audiobooks. I'm finding that like almost half of the books that I read are in audiobook format for my library. But I just, I kind of miss going to the library and like checking out books. So I started doing that more this year. Granted, I've only checked out like three books so far. But progress is progress. Oof, I'm looking over some of these goals now and they're like really lofty. Speaking of the next one, and that is that I need to read 10 nonfiction books before the end of the year. Mm. I wanted to set this goal because I knew that I needed to read much more diversely because if I don't make myself read widely, I will just read fantasy, probably all YA and middle grade fantasy. So I'm making myself branch out more, which is good. And nonfiction is good because you can learn. But I've only read three nonfiction so far this year. So we're going to have to boost up this number a lot. So pray for your girl for that because we don't know how that's going to turn out. Probably bad. I also like really weird nonfiction books. So if you have any good, um, preferably not memoir nonfiction books that deal with like grim or weirdly scientific topics like leave them down below and the next one was probably the most difficult goal that I have made for myself and that it was I wanted to read five books in ten different genres <laughs> I don't think when I made this goal I was thinking like wow that's 50 books and like I usually only read about 70 books so that allotted most of my books to certain categories which big 
Big decision, Lindsay, big decision. I don't know if you can see it that well, but I actually keep a tally of um, all of the genres and age categories that I read from. And I found out as I was going through the year that there's not even 10 genres of books that I'm interested in. Actually, there's much less than that, but I am still gonna make myself read outside of what I'm comfortable with and what I like. I still went ahead and changed the number down from 10 to nine. So I'm just gonna read five books in nine different categories and genres. Yes, yeah, like I don't I don't want to read classic books. I don't want to read like romantic contemporary books. So why would I force myself to read books that I know I'm going to dislike anyway? That being said, I normally really dislike sci-fi, but out of the four adult sci-fis I read, I have given all of them above a four star rating. But that's why I did this because I wanted to start reading why more widely and just discover more because there's more out there and if you don't try it you may never know my next reading goal was that i wanted to read 10 adult fantasy books i have so far read five adult fantasy books i'm reading a sixth one right now i'm not worried at all about this goal i'm really really enjoying adult fantasy it's actually the only fantasy that i've been in the mood for of late and i am just devouring everything it's so good i just love adult fantasy worlds because they they give you that extra like word count amount to really like dig deep into that world and just slow everything down like slow your pacing and your speed down to really like get immersed in that world man and I'm just I'm craving that right now and then my final goal is that I want to read a total of at least 70 books which I don't think will be a problem the past two years I have read I think last year was like 76 maybe and then the year before that was 72 so I'm good there and the last three goals that I made for myself are more like just B boring lifestyle goals. I don't even know if you guys are interested in these. I'm a bit of a boring person so they're not they're not that exciting. One thing I did do was that I put all of my shoes in my closet. I got like a nice little closet shoe organizer and that was a goal so I can I can check that one off the list. And then the last two lifestyle goals I have not accomplished yet. I want to organize under my bathroom sink. I haven't done that. We'll probably do it December 31st. And then the last one is that I want to do one round of Insanity. Insanity is like this really intense workout program. I did it like three years ago before my wedding and lost like 40 pounds in four months and it was amazing but like your girl is having a lot of issues with her chronic illness <laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it but you know it's still on there maybe in the last couple months of the year I'll get it together so those are all of the goals that I made for this year and the ones that I still need to accomplish by the end of the year I love making goals they make me feel so productive and powerful so in the comments down below, let me know some of the goals that you still need to achieve by the end of the year, whether they're reading or writing. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!